Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are enjoying all the videos that I am uploading. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also share among your friends. Uh, today's problem is minimum value to get positive step by step sum. So given an array of integer nums, you start with an initial positive value, start value. In each iteration, you calculate the step by step sum of start value plus elements in nums from left to right. Written the minimum positive value of start value such that the step by step sum is never less than 1. So basically we have we are asked to find a start value with which we will start right that is a seed seed value we will have to start with and then keep on adding the values in the or adding the numbers in the nums array. So, the result of the addition should never be less than 1. So, which positive value or which start value that we need to select is the question. The positive value must be minimum, okay, minimum positive value, okay. Let us go ahead and look at the example 1 to try to understand uh, why it is, right. So, here uh, the example shown is start value is 5, that is one start value and start value is 4, right. So, two start values are given and trying to see which one is better, right. So, better means when the, the sum is never less than 1 at each step, right. So, here this nums array has 5 elements. So, start value is 4, so 4 minus 3 is 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 minus 3 that is the third one, right. So, here if you add 3 minus 3 that will be that became 0. So, at this point in time it became less than 1. So, 4 cannot be the start value, right. So, let us go ahead and look at 5, right. When you add 5 minus 3, 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 minus 3 is 1. It could be 1, but it, it never less than 1, that is what it said, right. It could be 1. So, so 1 is valid. So, 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7. So, the minimum start value should be at least 5. Otherwise, we won't be able to um, have this condition satisfied. So, this is a uh, good uh, condition to keep in mind, right. So, all we were asked to do is a minimum positive values. For example, if you start with, let us say, start value anything greater than 5, right, you will always, you will still have uh, the sum never less than 1, right. So, but we are looking for a minimum positive value. So, the minimum is in this case is 5. So, how to come up with the minimum positive value? So, I have devised the solution here. So, the solution is, I mean, the algorithm is get a cumulative sum of array elements. So, that is the first step. So, cumulative sum is in this case, right, minus 3 plus 2 minus 3 plus 4 plus 2, right. So, it will be uh, how much it is? 2, right. The sum is 2. Minus 3 minus 3 is minus 6. This is plus 6. It cancelled out and 2, right. So, this 2 is the uh, cumulative sum right and while uh, going through the cumulative sum you will have to keep track of the uh, minimum right what is the minimum that you are going to get right so cumulative sum while uh, doing that right so let's go ahead and understand what is meant by the minimum so when we have this element right so let's take that example and the sum array. So, since it is the first element, it is minus 3 and minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1, minus 1 minus 4 is minus 3 is minus 4, minus 4 plus 4 is 0 and minus, uh, minus 4 plus 4 is 0, 0 plus 2 is 2. So, what is the minimum of all 4, right? So, the minimum of all is 4. We are having the cumulative sum, right? So, the cumulative sum, the minimum cumulative sum is 4 that is occurring at here. So, what we are going to do is, since the value, the sum should be never less than 1, we are going to add 1 to the absolute, absolute value of the minimum, right. So, that is what is the answer. As long as the minimum is less than 0, sorry, yeah, minimum is less than 0, we are going to add that. If it is greater than 0, we do not need to add anything. So, minimum positive value can be just 1, that is it. You do not have to order add anything, but if minimum positive value is less than 0, then you have to add 
absolute value of the minimum thing okay so keep track of the minimum element in the cumulative sum so that is what is minus 4 here if the cumulative sum is greater than 0 then obviously we can just start with 1 we don't have to add anything otherwise it should be 1 plus absolute value of the minimum so absolute of so that will be what so this will be 1 plus absolute value of minus 4 that means it's 1 plus 4 which is equal to 5 which is the answer for us right so the output is so it matches right so that is what is the algorithm that we are going to look at right so very simple algorithm let's go ahead and look at the algorithm right so for this sake i am creating a uh, sum array right where uh, i want to store the cumulative sum right so as as usual the first element will be same so that's why i'm storing the sum uh, sum of zero uh, same as the num of 0 right so minimum I am assigning it to the sum of 0 to start with right that will be the minimum and then while going from 1 to n right 1 to n minus 1 basically I am going to calculate the cumulative sum and keep track of the minimum so minimum will be minimum of minimum and sum of i whatever that is so minimum will be calculated so once the minimum is calculated right so if the minimum is greater than 0 you just return 1 and if the minimum is not greater than 0 that means less than 0 right right or less than or equal to whatever that is right then what you are going to do is 1 plus minus 1 into minimum so in this case minimum is negative so you are if you are converting the minimum to positive by multiplying with minus 1 the other way is you can just do the absolute value that that's what i explained in previously right mat dot abs of min right that also works so once you get the maximum absolute value right then you will be able to uh, get the conversion happening like right? minus 4 will be converted to plus 4 1 plus 4 is 5 so that is what the uh, value that is it's going to return so let's go ahead and look at the time complexity for this algorithm so the time complexity for this algorithm is we are going through the array like one time that is 1 to n so this will be uh, order of n is the time complexity for this algorithm and uh, the space complexity for all this algorithm is we are creating this sum array right so sum array will be keeping track of the cumulative sum in here right so cumulative sum is being kept track right so so one thing is uh, you can get away without creating the uh, sum array also you can just keep track of the uh, sum only the cumulative sum the simple variable but in this case just to show you uh, how it is going to look and all right i have this sum as array uh, that's why for this particular code the time sorry space complexity will be order of n but if you keep the sum in a simple variable right then uh, the space complexity will become constant that will be a single variable anyway so then you will be comparing the sum the cumulative sum variable with the minimum at in every step that will be uh, any way you can keep track so in that particular place algorithm right it will be constant space so this algorithm could be converted into constant space algorithm also where you will convert this integer sum the array to just make it as just only the int sum and update this this statement update this statement right and use the update this once you do this to three steps that's it that will con get converted to uh, what do you say constant space algorithm right so you can implement uh, overall what you can say is time complexity is order of n and space complexity is order of 1 for that algorithm once we update these two steps and this making it int sum right and obviously int sum is equal to we will say 0 right that's the statement we, we are going to do it so hope that cleared up solution uh, your your any doubts and all if you still have any questions please leave them in the comment section i will get get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching again if you haven't subscribed Please subscribe to my channel and share among your friends. Please don't forget to click the bell icon. If you click the bell icon, you will get notifications for my future update. Thank you for watching. I will be back with another problem very soon. Till then, goodbye.